What's up, dude? Hey, Andrew here. Want to talk to you about networking. I get asked some uh, pretty weird questions over my course of 20 years being in networking and security. And here's an interesting one. Why can't I use .0 and .255 in my network? I mean, they're dedicated, right? .0 is your network and .255 is your broadcast. And they're unusable because they're reserved. Or are they? So let's take a look. First, I want to do a little bit of a review of what these numbers actually look like. So you have a 0.0.0.0, which is your global network, and you have a 255.255.255.255, which is your global broadcast. So if you send a packet to 255.255.255.255, for example, you type in ping space 255.255.255, it actually should go to every host out there on the internet, and all of them should respond back with, a, with an echo reply. Wouldn't this like flood your entire network? Of course it would, because there's like, millions and millions of hosts out there on the internet. But luckily, routers nowadays don't by default forward these packets or forward these broadcast packets out unless you specifically configure them to do that. So you're going to be limited to your local network if, uh, if you ping that address or you send packets to that address. So, but let's focus more on your local network. Let's focus on your network.0 and your network.255, your, your local network and broadcast. Here's an example. You have 10.1.1.0 slash 24. So your network is 10.1.1.0 and your broadcast is 10.1.1.255, right? So your usable address space is 10.1.1.1 through 10.1.1.254. Uh, and your unusable is 10.1.1.0, which is your network, and 10.1.1.255, which is your broadcast. So let's take this and change this a little bit. Look at this network over here. So this is 10.1.1.64 slash 26 is your subnet mask, uh, which is 255.255.255.192, and which means your broadcast is 10.1.1.128. So you have a usable range of 10.1.1.65 to 10.1.1.127, and your unusable is 10.1.1.64 and 10.1.1.128. So keep that in mind that your unusable in this case is .64 and .128. But if we take this network and we change the subnet mask from slash 26 to slash 24 and increase it, we're basically changing it back to our previous network. We're changing it to 10.1.1.0 as your network and 10.1.1.255 as your broadcast because you have a much bigger range to work with which means that your usable range is now back to 10.1.1.1 up to 10.1.1.254, which includes 10.1.1.64 and 128. Now, previously before we couldn't use those because those were our network and broadcast, but now all of a sudden they're usable just by changing the subnet mask. Well, what now, what if we take this network and we change the subnet mask yet again and make it an even larger network? So. Let's change our subnet mask from slash 24 to a slash 22. Now this changes our network and our broadcast. So now our network becomes 10.1.0.0 because we have to move it over. And then our broadcast becomes 10.1.3.255. We have a usable range of 10.1.0.1 up to 10.1.3.255. Now this range includes 10.1.1.0, 10.1.1.255, 10.1.2.0, 10.1.2.255, and 10.1.3.0. So it includes five IP addresses that have either .0 or .255 at the end of it now that you could actually use as hosts. That means that you can actually use .0 or .255 if you use the proper subnet mask. Now, let's take this to a little bit of extreme here. So technically, you could say, I want to use a network of 10.0.0.0 slash 8, which is 255.0.0.0, which makes your broadcast 10.255.255.255 and gives you a usable range of 10.0.0.1 through 10.255.255.254, right? So now all of a sudden, you have a bunch of usable IP addresses that end in .0 or 255. You have 10.0.1.0, 10 10.0.1.255, 10.0.2.0, 10.0.2.255, and you even have 10.100.100.0 and 255. You actually have a total of 130,560 usable IP addresses 
that end in either .0 or .255. Isn't that crazy? So you can set up your network having all .0s or .255s at the end of it, and it's gonna be completely up to standard, it's gonna be completely legit. Now, please don't go out there and start using a slash eight for a small network of 50 or 100 hosts, uh, because people will not like you when you try to set up a VPN with them. So stick to the normal, stick to your slash 24s whenever needed, but this is this video is just made to let you know how IP subnetting works, that you can use .0.255 if you have the proper subnet. If you like this video and you found it informative, please subscribe, leave any comments below if you have any questions. Um, if I said something wrong, maybe that, that uh, you, you wanna correct me, please leave your comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and hopefully I'll make some more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching.